so here is question number 25 now which of the following argument are correct and which are not correct give reason for your answers give reason for your answers first one if two coins are tossed simultaneously there are three possible outcomes two heads two tails or one of each therefore for each of these outcomes the possibility is 1 by 3 okay first one will take up now then we'll read second one if two coins are tossed what will be the outcomes if two coins are tossed simultaneously if two coins are tossed simultaneously the outcomes will be as follows like we wrote for three coins in last problem we have to now write for two coins both coin may show tail and tail one coin may show tail another may show head one may show head and other may show tail or both may show head so how many possible outcomes are there four possible outcomes are there 1 2 3 4 probability of getting tail is how much both the times tail is how much probability of getting two tails is how much 1 by 4 probability of getting two heads is how much 1 by 4 probability of getting one tail and one head is how much one tail one head one head one tail there are two combinations so 2 by 4 that means 1 by 2 because of this all the probabilities will not be equal to 1 by 3 two probabilities are 1 by 4 and 1 by 4 and two probabilities are equal to 1 by 2 okay so here you write total number of outcomes is equal to 4 total number of outcomes is equal to 4 now we'll calculate probability of 
getting two tails that is equal to one by four probability of getting two heads is also equal to one by four finished probability of getting one head and one tail two by four that is equal to one by two that is the given statement is not correct that is the given statement is not correct as there are four outcomes You have seen here none of the probabilities 1 by 3. All are different. They have told all probabilities will be equal to 1 by 3, which is not correct. Finished. So this question may be asked in different way also. What is that? If two coins are tossed simultaneously, what is the probability of getting one head and one tail? Or a question may be like this also. If two coins are tossed simultaneously, then what is the probability of getting both tails? and both heads the question need not be asked always in this way it may be asked in different way so it is important to know how to write the outcomes how to write the outcomes okay so now we have to see the second part in it Just come back to this question. Yes. Part two If a dice is thrown, there are two possible outcomes. And an odd number, an odd number, or an even number. Therefore, the probability of getting an odd number is 1 by 2. 
this is correct this statement is correct part 2 what will be the outcomes 1 2 3 4 5 6 because a dice is thrown it has six faces on each face different numbers from 1 to 6 are written so these are possible outcomes out of these how many even numbers are there even numbered outcomes 2 4 and 6 good odd numbered outcomes 1 3 and 5 so even numbered outcomes are 3 number odd numbered outcomes are 3 number when calculating the probability of getting a u1 number favorable outcomes number will become 3 also while calculating probability of getting a odd number number of favorable outcomes will become 3 therefore probabilities of getting u1 number and odd number will be 3 by 6 and 3 by 6 which turns out to be 1 by 2 right therefore probability of getting probability of getting an odd number is equal to 3 by 6 that is 1 by 2 hence given statement is correct these lines you can write in box in first part as well as in second part here also like this put this last line in bracket in first part and also in second part